Hi, my name is Alan Hoff and I'm with SeaChange International. SeaChange is the uh, leading video on demand back office vendor uh, in the industry that is now helping operators uh, provide more personalized applications and experiences for their customers while at the same time giving them far greater data reporting on those user behaviors and really applying our expertise in video on demand across the three screens, uh, TV to PC and of course TV to mobile as well. When I came uh, first to the TV of Tomorrow show, it was really the first time that I saw in, in one watering hole uh, all members of the ecosystem, all stakeholders. And, and you know, you have your managed service providers and then you have the over-the-top guys and they're often on the same panel and they can be at each other's throats. And it makes for a really compelling experience for uh, the audience and it really services a lot of the issues. Getting some uh, market data that may be late breaking that can uh, just be sort of cast as an aside in a given panel. And I guess that's one of the things that I've seen really uh, change is just the sheer volume of people participating on the panels and uh, the amount of different, uh, the variety idea of, of content that you can choose from and uh, different tracks, it, it's, it's great. So sea change by dint of the fact that we are uh, a standard in, in back office for video on demand delivery in the industry knows a lot about the secure uh, delivery of uh, premium content to customers on demand and now we're looking to help uh, our operator partners provide the same sort of experience to uh, the PC and to the mobile device and so one of the things that we've been able to, to show lately is how you can uh, begin, a, a customer can begin consuming a piece of content on one of the devices, suspend, uh, resume on a, another device, suspend and then conclude on yet a, a third platform. We're trying to demystify this challenge because uh, there's a lot coming at operators today. You know, how are they going to keep up with the pressures from over the top? How are they going to turn those uh, services into more uh, a managed experience for their customers so that they remain uh, the first choice for uh, consumers in, in their uh, filmed and, and televised entertainment uh, content consumption? I think that the uh, operators have a real opportunity here to help manage all that complexity out there for, for uh, users. Now, of course, the younger generation is uh, pretty savvy and is figuring all this out on their own. Uh, but nonetheless, I think that there's uh, a real trust uh, that uh, the uh, managed service uh, operators uh, have, have gained. I think the operators will be um, in the pole position to make sense and wrangle all these different sources of content into uh, a, a great experience, a continued high quality experience in a secure environment for both the uh, end user consumers and the operators and advertisers um, that are obviously filling those pipes. It's interesting, we've, we've gone through a period here where there's been a, a lot of announcements and a, and a lot of uh, standards being uh, agreed upon and a lot of talk, a lot of buzzwords, but uh, they've been sort of lingering here in the ether for a couple of years uh, and I think people have been waiting, when is it going to, when are things like EBIF really going to reach um, scale and uh, you know, when is the SCTE uh, 130 standard going to be implemented broadly enough to be of a meaningful value for um, the advertising ecosystem and uh, I think 2010 is really the year where we're starting to see that stuff will be getting to market. What we need to though uh, establish is, is that uh, once we get, you know, interactive television underway by using things like EBIF with the, with the standard templates that are coming out that we will very quickly be able to uh, creatively uh, innovate and provide still more compelling experiences for users. And you know, I think uh, just uh, the first few times that users see this stuff, the novelty will be there, they'll, they'll engage, but very quickly they could get bored if the industry doesn't continue to uh, innovate rapidly. So uh, we uh, were given the benefit of the doubt, I think, at first, but uh, we have to rapidly follow up with, with still uh, greater innovation.